I'm allergic to being broke, man. I used to be broke, man. Every time I even think about being broke, I sneeze. I, I thought about it just right there. I went to the studio, we was in Australia at the time. It was me, my boy Oliver, my boy Kashan. He's a Muay Thai fighter. I was wearing black that whole time. Every time I did a show over in Australia, I was just wearing straight black, nothing else, just black. I had a black flag and I literally put it on the microphone. That Mexican OT got involved when I followed him on Instagram and he followed me right back. And then I told him about the song and then he was like, oh, send me through, baby. Not only did he send me the song back, he sent me the song the acapella, the lyrics that he wrote down, and he had a video of him spitting the shit. We were both fans of each other's verses. So he knew my verse word for word, bar for bar, and I knew his word for word, bar for bar. I'ma delete him with middle leaders off for real. I cut up on people, you just up the field. I beat him with alligators cause I killed their cousin just to make this bitch ass in the boots. I was like, <laughs> this nigga went nuts. This one I knew me and him were damn near like super alike because it's a movie that I like called Avengement, right? And it's with Scott Atkins, and not a lot of people seen that movie. I be telling people about that movie. And me and him was on the phone, and he was talking about movies and the shit that we like. And he was like, hey, bro, you gotta watch this movie called Avengement. I was like, wait, with Scott Atkins? And they in the pub? And he was like, yeah. I was like, bro, I love that movie. What? No, and I was like, man, he's in John Wick 4. He was like, no way, who was he? I was like, the fat guy. He was like, nah. Hey, black flag all on my mic. I've been known to spend a lot like Bob Barker, the price is right. So I use spend in two contexts, you know what I'm saying? I like to spend money, but also relating to spend as in the wheel, you know what I'm saying, on, on the price is right. Bob Barker, Happy Gilmore, beating up Adam Sandler. Psh, psh, psh. I want the whole thing. I can't put it into like a triple entendre because I never shot nobody, nigga. I got guns, but I never shot a nigga. Being broke, my kryptonite. Being rich, my superpower. Smoking on these bitter niggas. In my hood, we call it sour. From the south side of FLA. Been through Dade and Broward. Musty ass kush. Oh, me smelling like a golden shower. Everybody like, that's a sus line. How you know what a golden shower smell like? And I'm like, nigga, everybody got to pee. Dumbass. If you ain't drinking enough water, your shit comes out smelling like Orm Red and Baca. Like, you know what I'm saying? Shit goes crazy, you know? But yeah, I like my weed louder. Bitches badder than niggas realer. I don't play about my family, about my business, about my Skrilla. I'm doing everything in my power to make sure, like, I don't fuck up because if I fuck up, my business fuck up. If my business fuck up, my money fuck up. I don't play about my family, about my business, about my Skrilla. You gotta be about your shit. All this could be taken away from us, you know what I'm saying, in the blink of an eye, if God says so, to humble you or teach you a lesson. If God even see you abusing whatever is happening, he'll take it from you in a heartbeat. Take these niggas to Esquela, nigga, I speak Espanol. I don't deal with pussy niggas, never hang with messy hoes. Hanging with them Cubans, boy, you thought he was from Mexico. I'm from Miami, and we get nothing but like Cubans, Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, Venezuelans, and there's like fewer Mexicans down there. But if you um, speak Spanish or whatever, they assume you're Mexican. You know, they don't think about Guatemala or El Salvador instantly, Mexico. And it's also a little Easter egg that Mexican OTs on the track. One love to my Jamaican niggas, stop I say to all my zoes. I don't even speak Creole. Bitch, I only speak my mind. I don't know how to speak Creole, bro. I said a little bit of words like banana and stuff, but that banana is what you eat, you feel me? Peze, like, I forgot what the fuck that mean. And then jue, oh, I know what that mean. You gotta ask somebody else about that though. I speak more Spanish than I ever did speak Creole. And they need to teach that in school too. If my music major deaf, then bitch, my jury major blind. You get hating comments here and there, right? So people were like, man, turn this shit off. This shit making me deaf. It's like, man, he always yelling and shit making me deaf. That's why I used the term. I was like, okay, if my music major deaf, well, bitch, my jury major blind. Now you're Helen Keller. Did it all with one flow. Niggas used to double time. Yeah, I used to smart talk. Now I had to dumb it down. It was used to me doing. Yeah, I could do that, but I had to get my point across by saying it in a way where I could break it down and understand. Yeah, I dumbed down my flow, but when you come to the show and know the words word for word, I made my point. Straight wrecking Zell, bitch, I'm blowing up the spot. I'm a Kara City nigga, man, y'all hoes must have forgot. I am not an emo rapper and I ain't no fucking herb, nigga. I am not an emo rapper, so don't put me in that box. I'm a rapper, I'm an artist. I like what I like, I am what I am, and I'm gonna do what I do, but the moment you try me, you gonna figure out, like, I'm not somebody you should try. Period.
I was whooping ass since the first, second, and third, nigga. Girls that be in love with me be the type to curve, niggas. Yo hoes take a cockatoo, so that bitch a bird, nigga. Cock or two. Cockatoo. I learned what a cockatoo was when I was in Australia because that's native to their land. Out here, when you call a bitch a bird, she's a what? She a hoe, right? They even had a play on words with that in the Kanye West video on Runaway when it was like, oh, she's a bird. You know, did you realize she's a bird? Yes, I realized that. Cockatoo, bird. Cockatoo, dick. Could be in a firm, nigga. Look at what I earned, nigga. So when I said could be in a firm, I'm talking about the group that Nas, AZ, Foxy Brown, Nature and Cormega was in. Cause I'm saying I'm just as raw lyrically. Lil Wayne, which is the greatest of all time. Even he said, the only down south nigga could have been in the firm. The commissioner of Wu-Tang nigga. I gonna tell you that I kick it like I'm Luke Kane nigga. Got that Sub-Zero phone, what you want me on? Make you get over here like Scorpion. That's also a nod to him. Affirmative action is my favorite firm song. Probably the only firm song I know. I'ma keep it P. Only thing missing is a perm nigga. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, I wanted to rock a perm wig when I was like trying to make the shit. I would have been like, hey, Deep J, man. Hey, Deep J, man. You know what I mean? You ever seen Hustle and Flow? Skinny, man. Tell me this is not my tape in the toilet, man. It's hard out here for Denzel. <laughs> Tell you bitch ass niggas go to hell. <laughs> and I never had to work retail because I'm making lyrics that's detailed. Niggas, you hear me? Hey, yo, it's hard out here for Denzel. You see my lyrics just like the Holy Grail. Bitch, I'm making hella paper fuck the mail. <laughs>